Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Um, it seemed to be such a happy collaboration between all of the parties on this. Is that something you would echo? What if I was like, no, no, it was terrible. It was bullshit. <laughs> no, it was. It was the best. I feel like everybody's overusing the term labor of love, but it was. It was a wonderful young group of people who really bled for this. What was it like working with Lily? Because I know she's come from a theatre background and, and she, everyone was talking about her as a theatre director and now seeing her talents as a film director. Um, I'm so it's so cool, that right? I mean, first of all, within like seconds of interacting with Lila, you can tell she's a force. Um, I also think one of the big missions of the company is empowering new talent and worthy um, talent. I, I think uh, really working with female directors is super important to us. It just felt like a glorious experiment. You've got a fantastic cast, obviously Jennifer at the high, but you've got people like Brian as well who shows other strings to his bow on this one. When you got those two and had those two on board, it must have been like all your dreams come true all at once. Oh, absolutely. Brian's a revelation. I think he's like a once. And I think, by the way, people all seem to be observing that now. I think Brian's having a hell of a year. But I think he's like a once in a generation talent. And the two of them together, it's funny because so much of their relationship happens in the subtext, you know? Like it's not a particularly dialogue heavy film. Their chemistry is electric and it was, it was like kind of revelatory to watch them as dramatic as that sounds. Yeah. yeah. And this is obviously Jennifer's, yeah, absolutely. Jennifer's first producer credit. Uh, what was it like seeing her bring that and how important was it to, to help her realize what she wanted to do and all you, you all guys together? It was the best. I mean, as I'm sure you know, producing just sort of allows you to have a deeper voice and you can be more assertive, you can protect the process, you can protect the filmmaker. And so I think in a business that's sort of depraved, um, it, it felt important to be able to protect the story we were telling and I think Jen's absorbed so much over the years, she's been working for a long time and I've I'm not just saying this because she's my partner. I think she's so much more to offer the medium than just a devastating performance, and I think she showcased that yeah. making this movie. Yeah, absolutely. And also, I mean, as the world goes on, we see a lot more, you know, wars happening all around the world. So, that, so this kind of subject matter becomes more prevalent. What are you hoping the film kind of says about it, and the important things that it says about about what people go through after the wars? It's it's a tough question to answer. Yeah. I think thematically, there are so many things it touches on, right? I think at the end of the day, you have two people who are broken and finding consolation in each other and I also think that it sort of suggests that like coping can look a million different ways that you can't always resolve things perfectly and I think mostly coming out of this pandemic where we've all been so insulated and it's been such a depressing time certainly for American culture culture around the world um, I think people are longing for connection more than ever which is what we see with these characters so I hope I hope people will relate to that, be moved by it. Absolutely. Well, wish you all the best tonight. Thank Pleasure you. for your time. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!